Hello! Do you want to learn how to add rainbow distortion effect to your pictures? Today I will show you a simple way to make this effect in Photoshop. My name is Ivan Gromov and I've been working with Photoshop in a professional capacity for 9 years. And I'm also a creative stock offer for Envato market. Before we start, I would like to recommend you Envato Elements. Here you can find a great collection of textures, effects, backgrounds and everything else you may need for your next design project. Let's create a new document with 2000 by 2000 pixel size and background color set to black. Go to File, Place and put your image inside Photoshop. Select your photo in the Layers panel and then go to Select, Subject. Refine the selection using Lasso tool. Hold Shift to expand the selection or Alt K to decrease it. Press Ctrl J to cut the image. Then delete the photo layer. Select your image and press Shift Ctrl Alt B or go to Image, Adjustments, Black and White and hit OK to apply black and white filter. Now let's go to Image, Adjustments, Brightness Contrast and set the brightness to 80 and contrast to 35. Create two copies using Ctrl J case combination and rename layers to red, green and blue. Double click on the red layer and then uncheck all the channels except the red one. Leave only green channel visible on the green layer and only blue channel visible on the blue layer. Create any text you want to use and then right-click Rasterize type in the Layers panel. Create two copies of the layer, rename them to red, green and blue. After that, uncheck the channels as we did before. Now we need to take the Smudge tool with soft round tip and size set to about 400 pixels and strength to about 50. Select the first red layer and start using Smudge tool to create blur edges Photoshop effect. This is how your image should look now. Use the same technique for green and blue layers. Select all the photo layers and right-click Convert to Smart Object. Let's go to Filter, Blur Gallery, Tilt Shift and set the blur to 15. Now we need to drag the lines of the Tilt Shift filter frame like you can see on the screen. Add one more Tilt Shift filter and rotate it to 90 degrees. Select the Smart Filters mask and paint the areas where you want to decrease the blur effect with a soft black brush. After that, you need to smudge the text layers just as we did with the picture. After that, convert text layer to a smart object and add till shift filter with blur set to 10.
Now let's create rainbow light leaks. Open color picker tool in the tools panel, then set the color code to the following. Double 8, 1, 8, E, 5. After that press add to swatches. Add the color codes which you can see on the screen the same way. Select background layer and first smart object layer. And then convert it to a smart object one more time. Double click on the smart object to open it. And then create a new layer. Take a soft round brush and create a stroke with the colors from our palette, just like you can see on the screen. Create another stroke the same way. Let's add motion blur with angle set to 30 and distance to 1400. Place the light leaks layer below your image and create a few copies to make it a little more vivid. Close and save the smart object and then go to filter noise, add noise and set the amount to 8. Add the noise filter with the same settings to the text layer. Let's apply texture overlay. Place texture above all the layers and then change its blending mode to screen and the opacity to about 50%. Here is our final result. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial and don't forget to check our channel if you want to learn more about Photoshop.